<laughs> the first thing we do is introduce them to their adventure group, which is like their family. What? <laughs> Get them out of the registration line and you give them their name tag and you give them their family and say, well, here you go. For this week, you're gonna be part of this. And I think that that's really powerful to people. Oh yeah! One of the things that might set our camp apart from other camps is that it's very, what we call, decentralized. So each camper is in this small adventure group which has its own really special, unique adventures. And that experience is unique to that group during that week. Look at the ball. Yeah, it looks so cool. Whoa, right here. The adventure group model allows a group to really make an experience their own. And I think I really love that we're empowered to be as creative and fun and go on as many ventures as we want and let them become whatever our group needs and let them fit the place our group is at. Yeah! An initiative game is the main way in which a group is able to bond in a symbolic way. So they're kind of the first step to getting a group together. <laughs> They met each other the night before and then you take them out into camp somewhere and you get to this game and they can let their leadership styles show. I think they, like to have more weight out. they all have to participate in some way for it to be accomplished. The wall, that was probably like a very intense camp experience. People just really supporting each other. It was a great example of challenge by choice. They just themselves got up and said, we're doing this as a team, we're going to work together giving each other a great pep talks and then you started seeing everybody really perform and you just saw a lot of team building right there. Thank you for grabbing me. <laughs> they figure out how to work together and then you reflect on that. You know, what can I learn about myself doing an initiative game that I can take and apply it to the rest of the world? I felt really supported. Like yeah. everybody in the group was willing to let me try like five times. <laughs> 20 minutes ago, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get over the wall yeah. and then I did. The people you're around and working together <laughs> towards a common goal, it makes you become friends with people so quickly and it makes you trust each other so quickly. You know, everything's about balance and definitely at Camp Stevens, we're very intentional about making sure to balance out fun and challenge. Ready, set, go! The lawn is kind of the main hub for our camp. It's a great place to relax and it's also a great place to engage in some exciting activities as well. It offers that sense of comfort for kids knowing that they are surrounded by all this excitement and their peers. The afternoon free time that we offer to the campers every day while they're here, it gives them a break from the adventure groups and allows them to choose something that they are particularly passionate about or that they are especially excited about trying for the first time. I made it! All right! Archery is a really good example of trying something new and realizing that you can be good at it really quickly, I think. Oh, this one shot through the hay bale. We offer an array of creative activities that allow campers to express themselves in artistic ways and to make something that they can take home with them. Awesome, Sierra. Yep, oh, great stuff. The climbing wall is a really physically demanding activity where everyone can feel like they have succeeded just based on how we encourage them to meet whatever the personal challenge they have set for themselves on that day. Nice, that was awesome. I did it. <laughs> yeah. Hello! Oh, 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 oh. Do you dare to go in? Got it! Alright! Not a lot of kids have the opportunity every single day to go out hiking and to go be in nature. And here it's all opportunity. Whoa, look at this small thing. <laughs> the main mission that we have with our summer camp program is that of discovery. It's cute. It's actually sitting still. <laughs> We want them to discover nature, of course, to get away from their home lives and be in a new setting that is exciting and stimulating. George, that's a good name. Yes. I approve. It is kind of a peaceful place apart, and it's different from where most of the kids are coming from. And then they come to camp, which is this beautiful open space. You become a lot more aware of your surroundings and your interactions with people. We also want them to discover what it's like to engage with other people positively in that adventure group and working on things together. They got to touch the plants and really just be in nature and exploring the trails and it's really great that they can go out into the wilderness and use all your senses to explore. And the goal is to sneak in silently so he can't hear you because we might want to see a deer later. And the only really good way to see a deer is if you're really, really good at sneaking. Do you want to take your blindfold off and see what's happening right now? And the third thing being, and most importantly, is discovering something new about themselves. It's really important to like coexist with nature, to be a part of it all. And I think that it really does make people grow to just be out here. Can we pick some carrots? Yeah. 
So it's really cool to take them to the garden and they see this little green thing sticking up out of the ground and you tell them it's a carrot and they get really excited and you help them dig it out and pick this carrot and then tell them they can eat it right then. Yes, I got one. And they get so excited and then they just don't want to stop eating carrots. Hey. And also the chickens at the farm, they love going there and seeing the chickens and seeing them lay their eggs. When a group is open to hanging out in the garden and learning, we have so many resources and opportunities. There's so many people who work here who can help you out. How can we make sure that the plants get all the nutrients that they need uh, without using chemical fertilizers? You guys make your own fertilizer. How do we make our own fertilizer? Compost, yeah, we're composting. It's really nice to bring them in here and showing them what can be really fun about growing your own food and eating food straight from the ground. They're really happy that they tried it, and I think that that's really important. Overnights are when the kids go with their adventure group. They'll go and they'll sleep outside at one of our campsites. So you get to know the people in your group a little bit more, and you get to do some fun things, like go a little farther on a trail. You get to prepare your own food, sometimes using things you got from the garden that day. It's a campfire! To also have that experience of cooking over a fire, you know, it's something that a lot of kids have never done before. Cool to watch their enjoyment of the food that they're making double because they took part in making it. You did a good job with this. Um, uh, the pizza, <laughs> the pizza oven is new this year. Really neat to watch them all interacting while they're just cutting vegetables and then they all make their pizza. And <laughs> they're all just getting into it without really realizing it. So everyone's just happy and full of pizza and <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> One of the most memorable experiences that a camper will have is going on that overnight, especially that first overnight, and being able to sleep outside on the ground with no tent and sleeping there just in your sleeping bag looking up at the stars. It's something that is very special for our camp and is a really eye-opening experience for anybody who's doing it for the first time. We hope that during a week at camp, campers might find some sense of spirituality while they're here. It could be in sharing a moment with another person. It could be in witnessing something beautiful in nature like a sunset. So beautiful! <laughs> we want to be able to provide the space for those moments to happen within themselves. We focus on giving thanks and celebrating our community. Creator God, we thank you for making the beautiful world for mountains to climb as the sun rises, for oak trees to run through, and gardens to eat from. At the end of every week we have a Eucharist, which is a Thanksgiving, and the kids get to participate in it by coming up with an offering. I think it's a really neat way to get the campers to reflect on their experience that they've had during the week and to say thank you for it. We drew pictures of our favorite thing at Camp Stevens. I learned to trust my group. I learned a kind word can turn someone's whole life around. You also learn how to be yourself and be comfortable being yourself. It's great when you're here, you're just loved unconditionally for who you are. At Keep Stevens, we want kids to find this adventure. You're out in the woods, which is an adventure, and you're with new people, which is always an adventure. And they're just, they just love being with each other. And like that, to me, is, that's like the peak of what you want. Just this beautiful moment of having achieved something and then being able to sit back and let that sink in. And I think that's, uh, it's magic, you know? It's magic to be there and to watch people be in that place of love, you know, and to be in that place of connecting with each other while also connecting with the world. That experience at Camp Stevens is timeless and that it'll last forever. And it happened 40 years ago and it's happening it's happening this summer.